Today, follow along with me. I'm going to take you to get the results of this. Look at this. Now, I'm going to put a before picture right here. And as you can see, I've gotten the stains out. This is now washed. Uh, I know I'm putting this in the beginning of the video, but I want you to understand the process. Number one, I've never done this on any silicone, believe it or not. You know, Rubbermaid, Tupperware, yes, teacups, all kinds of stuff. So we're going to explore three methods. And of course, the third one is the one that worked on this. I think the other two would have worked much, much better. But admittedly, I was shooting this video and I did not leave them overnight like I would IRL in real life, guys. So anyway, join me on this journey. I just wanted to make this clear. Uh, we're going to get started with method one and then method two and then method three. And I'm going to be honest with you, I have never not been able to get, unless you just microwave something to death and just about burn it and they're burnt on, and a lot of that's just embedded in the plastic. But if it's just something like this, what I did, uh, heating something up for a couple of minutes, you can get them out. All right. And I didn't even start on it till the next day, even though I soaked it uh, with Dawn. Uh, so anyway, join me on this and let's let everything go uh, each method that I do. And if you get stuck with something, try these three methods. I would do one, two and three just in that order. Uh, keep it in your uh, cleaning arsenal for sure. All of these things should be in your cleaning arsenal because they are amazing to get stains out and to do many other things. I just wanted to give you that disclaimer. This, this was a procedure as we kept going on forward. And then you can join me on the trip and see how we got from that before picture to this. Look at that. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, let's go. Hey everybody, it's me, Hetty, and I'm going to show you something a little different. Uh, I'm just like everybody else, and I mess up sometimes, and I've had these things for a while. I got them as a gift. I love them. Uh, but as you can see, we had meatloaf the other day, and I made my sauce that goes on the meatloaf in here not thinking i just grabbed it i always usually make it in my glass measuring cup but it was just easier to grab and there you have it i did it <laughs> so anyway i want to show you i've got several uses i always keep these on hand and my favorite are these polydent overnight whitening denture tabs yes denture tabs a lot more uses than people know so i read this years ago for cleaning things and I keep them on hand ever since. So, first of all, this is almost boiling water, just, just right at boiling. It's very hot. And what I'm gonna do, we're gonna try this first. I have several methods to get tomato stains out. Many, many years ago, they had a thing called Cascade Plastic Booster, and I used to use it all the time when the kids were little. And uh, they quit making it. I don't know why, it was a really good product. Uh, but I have several methods that I've gone to nowadays. And so, as you can see, I covered, I, I did just under, this is very hot water, it's very close to boiling. And I went up over to where the tomato stain is. And since this is a two cup measuring cup, silicone, I love it, I'm putting two tablets in. There's a lot of uses for these denture tablets, and I can't recommend enough. Don't get stored, but just get the regular. I like to get that polygrip. Let's see, what is it called? Oh, polydent overnight whitening. Polydent. Polydent overnight whitening. That's what I like to use. Uh, I've gotten the, uh, there are uses out there for it, but I'm only going to tell you things I've been successful with using. I've cleaned a stubborn toilet with it. I have cleaned uh, tea stains out, or coffee stains out of a pretty mug or something, or cup rather. Uh, I've used it to get burnt food out of a pan. So it'll take, if you, it, depending on your, if it's a skillet or whatever, you might have to use four or five of these in it, but it will work. 
and you may have to redo it a couple times but it will help I use it to clean glass lasagna pans or any glassware like that uh, a vase or a vase depending on where you're from uh, if you've ever noticed you had a pretty bouquet in there and it's got that nasty water looking stain in the bottom maybe after I use a couple of it for that and there you have it I'm sure there are other uses out there just google it but anyway in the meantime all this is going to do is sit when it's cooled completely down and it's not bubbling anymore I'll come back and we'll see if that worked if that didn't work we'll try something else but I'm gonna get these stains out somehow <laughs> I will bring you back when it's time to check on it here we are I've moved over to the sink and sometimes I have to do this twice I've never actually tried it on this uh, this is silicone. I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, it should work just like it's worked on all my other stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to give it a good scrub. Still looks like it's there, but I usually start out and I scrub with something fairly gentle just to see what we can get. It's been soaking for about an hour and a half. A little less, actually. I've been doing other stuff. Honestly, I'd probably have to sit overnight if I wasn't shooting this video. <laughs> So I might be rushing it just a bit. Yep, I'm going to have to do it again. Um, i tell you what, since we're just kind of working on tomato stains, what I think I'll do is, uh, it didn't even get it to where I'd hope I'd get it. I've never tried it on this particular item before. Uh, that's not looking like it's working. So... We're going to try my second remedy. <laughs> I dried this off. We're back at the table. And now I'm doing method two. Baking soda. Hydrogen peroxide. I should have shown that. I should have taken a picture of that before. It's just Kroger brand. It's about all you can find. Okay. I take, I don't exactly measure it. I'm just going to have enough where I can coat this very well, the tomato stain. So I'm going to start with this. May have to make a little more, may not. I'm going to add just enough peroxide, a little at a time, so I can make a thick paste. I'm using this plastic spoon to stir it up because I don't care about it. And hope I didn't add too much. You want a thick paste. And yes, of course I added too much. So now, it's, it doesn't matter. I have a feel I'm going to need it. So now I'm going to add a little more baking soda. Give it another stir. Yeah, I think that's going to make it just right. Yeah. I might want a hair thicker, just a little bit. I'm going to probably add just another, maybe a teaspoon. It wasn't even a teaspoon. Oh yeah, that's right where I want it. Now, I may or may not rush this. I may let this sit overnight. You'll find out in the video. Because stubborn stains can, and, and that's the thing. My denture tablets, they work with so many things. And a lot of times, they work the first time. I don't have to redo anything. Uh, but this one is stubborn. I've never done it on this type of measuring uh, cup before. So anyway... Pardon me, you know I'm working around a tripod. So then, all I'm going to do, I'm just stirring this up well. You can see the consistency of it. Boink. Flop. All right, and I'm going to go in. I'm just going to go in, and I'm just going to basically paint the inside, covering the stain. I'll show it to you after I get it all done. Okay, I just went over to the sink so I could be a little more messy. And as you can see, the one thing about the white is it shows up the stains a lot more for the video. See that? Now, I'm going to make sure I covered everything pretty well. I'll probably come back in an hour and make sure it didn't slide down. And if that's the case, I may make a little bit of a thicker paste. I will let you know on the back side of this. But anyway, I'm going to let this sit for a while, okay? A lot of times when I do this, it just sits overnight. I don't even touch it till the next day. All right, so we'll see what direction we're going. And when I know, you'll know. And if this doesn't work, we're just going to go to method number three. I've got several in my repertoire.
of stain removing tools and uses. You can see it's dried on there and what I'm going to do next is just put it in my next load of dishes to wash in the dishwasher and then we'll see. If it doesn't work, we'll try method three. I'm going to include the fails so you can know, but that doesn't mean those other procedures won't work on other tomato stains on plastic like lunchware and all that kind of like Tupperware kind of stuff. This is a little different material and I think that's what might be affecting it. So we're just going to keep moving and grooving and going ahead and moving forward and see what we can do with this. All right, quick update. Now I just pulled this out of the dishwasher and as you can see, this one, the main one is still there. It got almost everything else out. And as a matter of fact, the main one that's even left is just this ring. So now I'm going to go to my other method and that is hot water and bleach. So I'll be right back and I'll show you the amount that I'm going to use. Here we go. Now again, I have, uh, this is water I boiled about 45 minutes ago. It's still really hot. And this is about in between three and a half and four tablespoons of just regular laundry bleach, just old school, regular bleach. And now I'm gonna fill this up. This holds four cups, but of course I'm, I need to go up over that stain a little bit. So I'm gonna actually have a little more than four cups in here because I'm trying to cover that stain. And I did. And now guess what? I might have to move this because I'm shooting another video today, but at the same time, that's going to sit there for 24 hours, so I'll bring y'all back in 24 hours and we'll see how we fared. It is the next day and it's right around lunchtime. Uh, I did let it sit overnight, obviously, and off camera, as I told you I was going to, I raised the water level up over the tomato stain to completely make sure it was emerged. And from the looks of it, the water looks slightly tomato-y but it looks like I can't hold it up right now. I'm going to just dump it in this bowl because remember this is bleach water. Whoops, I got to clean that up. I apologize about that. Being that that was bleach water, I did want to get it cleaned up right away and I wanted to get this empty so I could bring it up and show y'all. You're not going to believe this. Now I hadn't even washed it yet. Look at this. There might be just a slight faint, just barely, only because I know it's there. If I didn't know it was there, I'd never even notice it. I'm telling y'all. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. This is sparkling clean. Like I said, I hadn't even washed it. But wow, big difference, huh? I'll try to do a before and after. So here's after. Then probably right here, I'll try to just put in a before. All right, y'all, try this. I'd never done it on silicone before. So um, my other tried and true ways, my uh, peroxide and baking soda and uh, everything I tried, I've done it a million times and it came out of Rubbermaid and stuff like that, you know, like Tupperware stuff. But this was silicone, so the bleach worked on it, but I th everything else loosened it up, I've got to admit. So I would still go uh, through a process if you have something you want to get rid of the tomato stains. But you can see this is a witness. I've only got one set of these. They were a gift. I got this is a big one. I got a medium one and a smaller one. Uh, makes it easy to pour like that. Uh, anyway, there you have it. I know this wasn't a recipe. I got some stuff coming up. Still moving slow. But I'm trying to just do a little bit of everything I'm doing and bring y'all along with me as I'm doing it. Okay, love y'all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.